Ow. <laughs> o M G. Hello, losers. O M Glee. Fabulousness. Returning for brand new episodes. It's going to be amazing. It's all changed. McKinley High as dreams are fulfilled. It's really hard being a star. Will and I are trying to conceive a child. So close to owning this town, I can practically taste. Amazing. God, this can't be happening. Brand new Glee starts tonight at 9, Sky 1 HD. I often use work to avoid my personal life. I think you're very attractive. Dr. Sweet. Yes. I think I pulled a muscle. I think you look very pretty in your dress. Is it me or did it just get totally awkward in here? I called you and you never picked up your phone. You're amazing, you know that? Yes. We all know that bones should be here. Look no further. Bones, Wednesday at 9 on Sky Living HD. Or catch up on demand. Twenty-two identical sealed boxes, in one of which is a quarter of a million pounds. And just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Good afternoon, East Wing. Hello, pilgrims. Welcome to the Dream Factory. A warm welcome to you. Great atmosphere in the Dream Factory, and of course, as always, an air of anticipation. That never changes as we approach our 700th show. The atmosphere at this moment is always quite tense because, of course, one of these people is about to come out here and hopefully have a life-changing experience. And at this moment, they have no idea who it's going to be. There is this feeling that if you've been here for sort of anything north of 16 games, that you could be on the radar, so to speak. But they can never be 100% sure. Do you think it's you today? No. Yeah. No. No. I think it's going to be you. Uh, no. No? Yeah. No. You don't think it's you? Why not? Because I'm still new. Because I'm still new. <laughs> you think it's going to be you, Simo? I hope not. No. <laughs> no, it's not you, because you're not wearing the wig today. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be either. you. <laughs> and you're new. I'm new. Do you think it could be you? You think it could be? And do you think it could be you? No, I'm new. <laughs> How many mm -hmm. games have you done? Uh, good question. 16. 16, you're on the radar. It could oh, right. be you. Here come the names and the big shock. So, three of them think it could be them today. And, of course, only one of them's right. You're correct. It's you. Karen. Karen, please, join me at the crazy chair. Welcome to your game, Karen Lapham. Yep. From Bath. Near Bath, yeah. A parking attendant. Yes. How long have you been a parking... Nearly four years. Have you? Yeah. Do you enjoy it? Yep. Do you get much it's grief? Fine. No. No? Not really, no. Oh. What did you do before that? I worked in the chicken factory. That was one of my jobs. That was one of my first jobs, which I really loved. A chicken factory? Yep. That's so what I just had cold chickens hanging them up on shackles, which I really liked. I loved that job. And I had a little sing-song. But I liked it. But, well, I did work there quite a long time. But I was... Then I had um, Kaylee, my daughter. So... Hi, Kaylee. Hello. So um, that's why I left. But I think I would have stayed there. But so I going couldn't back, have after, because I got... The going back further, before the time. traffic warden and working in the chicken factory, going back... For, have you ever been analysed for sadistic tendencies? <laughs> <laughs> 
joking. I'm joking. I don't know what you mean anyway. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> what have you brought along with you? Right. First of all, that's Robbie with his racing, his um, motocross when he'd done that. Oh, wow. Is he good at that? He was, he was average. I'm not going to try and lie and say, oh, he's the best, because, sorry, Rob, but you weren't. He was just good. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean that horribly, you know, because there's some real good ones out there. Real I good ones. I know you don't mean it horribly, but no, it was no, horrible. No. Oh, sorry, was it? Yeah. <laughs> you was good, Rob. <laughs> that is Kaylee and that's Leanne on the other side. She um, actually plays for um, Nuki, Nuki Ladies Football Team, that is. Mm. She's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, she's brilliant. Oh, <laughs> Robbie, I didn't take, don't take the notes in the walk because I didn't really mean it like that. He's made that into like I did and I didn't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I think she did. <laughs> Have you got a system? This is the thing. We've got a few numbers, which is birthdays. And there is one which, there's, well, this is actually my birthday. So oh, that is a good box for me. Excellent, good. And there's also another number, Phil over there. That's my dad's birthday. Yeah. As, oh, can I just tell you a bit about my dad? I'll be really quick. Yeah. But my dad, when he was in his 18, 18 19 man, he got pneumonia. Then he got, when he was in his 20s, I believe, um, what was that thing he had? TB. TB. <laughs> so he's in the hospital for three years with that. And so he had all this treatment, etc. And then they used him as a guinea pig for the cure, which I don't know if they, he was a cure, but... If he isn't, he's good medicine, isn't he? And then, um, <laughs> then I mean, what else? Is there? Legionnaires' disease. Yeah, and then not then long ago, yeah, disease. Legionnaires, Legionnaires disease. disease. Then on, he went to Spain not so long ago and he had a heart attack. Yeah. And but he's here still. He's not with us. He's over his eyes. <laughs> and so, so he's with us, but not yeah, not with us. Yeah, he's a fiddle. Oh, fantastic. So that is one of my what numbers. That would be one of the last ones. <laughs> 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 Right, Karen, I need you, please, to confirm you chose box 18 at I random did. before the game began. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. I wish you a huge amount of success. Good luck. Thank you, Noel. <laughs> I want to get probably get rid of first. Not necessarily want to get rid of first, but I'm going to get rid of first. So that'd be Big Ron. All the best here. Thank you. The next number I'm going to have is. Fifteen. Kirsty. I should have look at Um the newbie number sixteen, Gemma. Jana, not Gemma. I oh, said Jana, the Gemma, you know. No, it's fine, don't worry. Yeah, Jana. Please, Gemma. I hope it's blue. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to the game. Number, I think 17. Not, no, sorry about this, but 17 isn't on my list, is it? Nope. Then I'll have you then. I'll have you, Gary, please. Number 17. Thank you. Best of luck, babe. Thank you. Those are the numbers. If I pick one, will you promise to tell me? Will you promise to tell me? Because I try not to look at her too much, but I might choose it and I don't want to. That's I will, all I'm be, asking you, I right? will be your safety right. advisor yeah, and tell thank you. Thank you. Right. Can I have. I think I'm going to choose you, Greg, number 14, please. Okay. Safe! Good luck, Karen. Thank you very much. Oh! 750. Four blues and the 3,000. Four blues and 3,000, one of the strongest opening rounds for a yeah. long time. Hello, banker. 
Yes, very good today, thank you. What do you what do you make of Karen? Evil. You're his kind of woman. I can see that as well, can't you? Robbie telling that story to a psychiatrist in about 15 years' time. <laughs> How about this? He says he's really enjoyed the stories and he finds himself aroused by your obvious glee at handing out tickets and hanging up chickens. <laughs> you are his kind of woman. Oh, hang on, I'll ask. I'll ask. He wants to know whether before you became a traffic warden and before the chickens, whether you ever worked in a, in a pet shop crushing the uh, unsold puppies. <laughs> <laughs> no. It says you're loathsome, he loves you. <laughs> He adores you. Aww. Opening offer, £10,000. <laughs> That's a lot of money. That is, that is a very good offer. But I think I've got a never deal in there at least. So you can ask me a question. No. £10,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Karen. Right. I don't think free's on my list. No. No. Safe. Right. Simo, I think I'm going to go for you this time. I keep looking at you as well, please. So I'm going to go for Simo, number three, please. Thank you, Simo. Okay. You're a lovely lady, Karen. Thank you, Simo. It's going to be blue. Oh, right. oh first hit. That's right. 50,000 has gone. Right. Next. I've got number five on there, please. Not safe. Not safe. See you. Oh, so, right, yeah, right. Right, um... <laughs> if I got number seven... Safe! Right. Yes, Brian, I think I am going to go with you. Mm, Thank I you. I wish you all the very, very best. Oh, no. No problem, Brian. Biggie's gone. I can enjoy the game. I can relax more over it. I'm glad that's gone, actually. I'm not glad it's gone, but I am glad, in a way. You know what I mean. You're right. glad it's gone? No, I don't mean that, but I can enjoy the game now. I can relax, because I didn't ever think I was going to win 250,000 anyway. So I didn't sort of think, oh, 250, that's what I'm going to win. Never, ever have I thought that. Well, that's so, a very interesting point. I don't think anybody has ever said that, Well, Karen. I haven't. I wanted that out of the way so I can enjoy my game. So, so I can now. Yeah. Yeah, that's a deal. Banker says, when we go to this break, I mustn't give you coffee. <laughs> you come back. Hey, Brian, that for me. Confused.com is giving away one million pounds. Keep them doggy. Thanks, Brian. Safe. And a weekly prize of ten thousand pounds. For your chance to enter the million pound mega draw. Oops. Buy your car, home, life, or travel insurance through confused.com. Jackpot. <laughs> And now the moment we've been waiting for. America's Next Top Model is back. Let the games begin. With more posing, more smizing, and more guys. So, I want you to look like a man. <laughs> it's too good. I have a very important announcement to make. For the first time ever, America's Next Top Model could be a man. What's up, ladies? The brand new series, tonight at 8 on Sky Living HD, or catch up on demand. Sky Sports 5, your new home of European football, launches August 12th and is included in your Sky Sports subscription. The UEFA Champions League. Sensational! Exclusively live coverage of La Liga, the Eredivisie, yeah. and European qualifiers. This could be the moment! Sky Sports 5, your new home of European football, launches August 12th. Parking attendance game. Actually, 
the, I think, fascinating reason this is a very different game. I have seen, in nearly 700 games, people try and be philosophical about the loss of the quarter of a million. But you actually said to me, you're pleased it's gone. Why? That figure down there haunts people, and I just want to enjoy the game, and which I will now, because that's gone. I know I'm not getting it, but I can enjoy the game and make the most of it now, and aim for one of those figures on the board. Not necessarily saying which one, but one of them. <laughs> right, Karen. Seal's intact. Where do you want to finish off this round? Right. Oh, sorry, yeah, I'm supposed to be policing this so you don't yes, use one you of could. your special numbers. Right, um... Uh, Derek, I think I'm going to pick you next, number 22. Safe! Yep. Especially Thank you very much, Derek. Yes. That's good. Thank you, thank you. I'm happy that, I'm happy that. Thank you, Derek. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have you got any yellow socks? You know you said, like, um, if you, you've got lucky socks, lucky hats and things like that. Yeah, lucky slippers. Have you got, have you got any? Have a look. Well, I think I could have had them. Well, if you're going to put them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You normally have the lucky token before we start playing around. No, not... I want it now. Yeah, they're very comfy, though. Yeah, they're nice. And I can't hear myself clicking around the floor, I'm saying. That's it. Sounds like a horse right now. I've got another pair just I like right them, here. actually. Hello, banker. <laughs> just said, excuse me. Well, those are your boots. You can't leave them there, you know. <laughs> Very good. Yes, this is the 700th show. I can't think of another occasion in 700 shows that somebody actually said they were pleased that your big wedge of money had gone. He admires honesty. Seven and a half thousand pounds is your offer now. Yeah, that's good. Consider what I've took out. I'm well, considering the damage done, yeah, seven yeah. and a half. Matt, I've got to ask you. <laughs> well, the odds... A little, pretty even Stevens as it stands at the moment. But you, you've definitely got one. Definitely. Probably even all the way, mate. Alex, I'll just ask you as well, please. It's a good offer for what's on the board there. But there's, with the 100,000, the 75,000 still being there, there's still a lot of play left in it. Yeah. Ready for the question, thanks, Noel. Seven and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? That's a real nice offer, but I think I'm going to... No deal. Thank you. I think I'm going to call on you now, Eunice, number six. Hello, Eunice. How are you today? Very well, thanks. Splendid. Thank you, Eunice. Beautifully done. Thank you. me numbers now, nice, so I'm going to have to call on you, Olga. Number one. Safe. 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 Oh, I see it. Good luck, Karen. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Olga. Thank you. Oh, it's good. It's so fun. It's so well. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can I... I'm not that. Um, my friend, David, I think I'm going to call on you now. Please, number 21. Safe. Me, please. You can book my car any time you like, dear. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, David. Yes. My word. <laughs> I hope I don't spoil this good run. That's OK, that's all right. Out. I'm happy. That is fine. It's not too that's bad. fine. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you. Well, here we go again. Hello. 
You think that made a big difference, the 15? Oh, why, why are you not sure it did? Ah, your target could still be there. And he's right. Oh, and you're right! Was, was, that, was that wise, to let him know he was correct? No, I'm quite happy that he knows it is on that board, because it is on that board. Right, OK. You think you know what it is? Oh, and it's not good news for you. Thank you! He wants you out of here because um, he'd like to buy the box for £15,000. <laughs> Sorry, Mark, I've got to ask you, what do you think? Um, it's that point in the game. It's the point where you need to seriously start switching on, taking it seriously. Yeah. It's still a strong ball, yeah. but those groups are twos. Um, one piece still in play. Uh, difficult to say. I know. I'm not asking you to say. I'm just saying what you think of me. It's I don't want a, you to. It's still a strong ball. Yeah, it still but is I a think it still is myself. But I just wanted to see if I'm being stupid because I'm not thinking straight out here. I don't think straight anyway. But well, I, I don't think there's never deal in it. But I know at this point games do go down. Drop like you know. <laughs> no, I, I know they go down. Games so drop like flies. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what the words to say for that one. Like, uh, they go pear shaped. That's what I mean. Like so, flies. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think I'm ready for the question, please, Noel. £15,000. Deal or no deal? That's a lot of money. But I think I'm going to. No deal. Oh. 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 Right. I think it's either you're both going to go in a minute anyway so it's going to be one of you which order it don't really matter because you're on the same you know what I mean so I think I'm going to you looking from... at I can't follow oh, sorry, you sorry I'm going from Mark and Matty both of them are gone they're out of here so I will choose <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that literally because I love them. They're absolutely quality. Can I have number 20, Matty, please? Okay, that's safe. That's not yep. on your list. This is for you and your family. Your Thank you. Lovely people. I can't wait to see you. Because you are totty. Right, number 19, Mark. Yeah, yes, you, Mark, number 19. <laughs> Serious, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ten grand downwards. Thanks, Mark. I would have 77, my son Robbie, for racing, but obviously I can't because there are no 77. But what I want, can I ask my daughter a question a minute? Because I keep forgetting, I can't get this yeah, straight. Yeah, please ask her right. a question. Kaylee. You've never Could wanted you a break as much as this, have you? Is Leanne's football number? I don't think nine, anything. Nine. Nine. So nine. But which is her number for what she keeps saying? One of her waffle like ten moments. or nine. But the fact of the matter is, her target is still so on this board here. Right. And all this waffling is disguising nine, so... the fact that she's actually got Sorry, a really, yeah. really strong Sorry. game here. So, um, oh. I think you will come back. Oh. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Easy play ball with Matty here from the West Wing. Don't miss, starting this Thursday, we've got the Easter extravaganza. We're going to have it large, it's going to be awesome. We're going to have a big, big party, so don't miss out. Deal or no deal, starting Thursday with me, Matty and Noel. Let Challenge take you back to a time when glasses were big, shoulder pads were bigger, and quiz shows, well, they were just tough. Who was the 17th century architect of the Queen's House, Greenwich? Oh, I have a clue. 15 to 1 is a tough quiz game show. You can say that again. Pound. 
Ah, can't remember. Take a nostalgic trip back with the classic and tough quiz show, 15 to 1. Starts with a double bill, weekdays from 9.30am, exclusive to Challenge. Do you believe a soul can be taken over by another? That you can lose yourself to something dark? My body is a I believe in demons. I believe in monsters. Do you? Penny Dreadful concludes Tuesday at 9 on Sky Atlantic HD or catch up on demand. Welcome back to Darren's show. I've got this list of special numbers. I think they're anniversaries from whatever. And these are the boxes she wanted to leave to the end. But inevitably, we're going to start hitting this list in, in a moment. But uh, you chose uh, uh, Ronnie over there because uh, box number nine is uh, not on the list, yeah? Yep. OK? Yes, please. OK, Ronnie, 1p, 50p, £10, please, Ronnie. Good luck, Karen. Thank you, Ronnie. Oh! That's right, Ronnie. I chose box, that's all right, that's fine. Thank you. Oh, right. They can't go, they can't go. Well, yeah. yesterday the lucky hats got Dave to £21,000. I'm hoping the lucky slippers are going to make you equally successful. They're softening the blow. <laughs> Hello. Yes, a question? answer to a question. It's watching your eyes very closely. I'll see the look in your eye when this question comes. Is your target still on the board? Yes. You're lying. I'm not. Well, that's actually, what he said. I didn't say well, you're could lying. Could you tell him I am said. actually not lying? Okay. Uh, he thinks when the 35 went, he saw this sort of mist across your face. is conceding the fact there is a lot of money still in your game. But this is an offer which is half the target he believes you came with. Right. Seventeen and a half thousand pounds. Seventeen and a half thousand pounds oh. is the value of box 18. That is a lot of money. If you would deal, put your hand up. Deal? No, definitely not. Why not? There's still a lot of um, big figures on there, so I would be tempted to keep playing. Would you deal? No. Why not? I want more than that. <laughs> I'd want more than that. Oh, no deal. No deal. No deal. Why? It's a chance, but I think it's a chance worth taking. Well, that's really summed it up. So I just wanted to see what everybody else would do. So I know what I... I am confident now, because I'm not going to do what I was not going to do. I'm, I'm going to do this, yeah. You can ask me a question, please. Seventeen and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? That is a lot of money, and I could do a lot of it. I know that. No deal. No deal. <laughs> I know number ten's not on there, is it? No, no. Ten's not then on you're, list. you are going to be my next word box, and you're going to be blue for me. I hope. Good luck. Oh, oh no! Seventy-five thousand gone. Right. There's still a lot of money on there, and now it's it's my. Things now, isn't it? They're all there now. Your right. special numbers are the ones remaining. Next, I'm going to go for Lexus number two, please. I've had loads of red, so I'm due a blue. Good luck, Karen. Oh, she's what? Don't you worry. Can 
have number five, Jojo, please? I hope it is a blue. Go on, Jojo. Please, please, Jojo. Try me best. 1p or 50p, please, one please one Jojo. Oh! oh! Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Nope, don't, don't, don't worry. What a round. Nope, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, oh, right. yeah. What a round. Yep. Yep. Hello. Oh, he's got another question for you. Go on. Is your target still on the board, Karen? Oh, he says you're going to need a lot of luck to get 20,000 now. Offer is now two and a half thousand. Well, that's obviously expectable. So is that a combination of respectable and expected? Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a new word, is it? A new word. Oh. That's going in the deal or no deal <laughs> dictionary. <laughs> expectable. Well, the worst, the worst what can happen. Do you know what that is? Yeah, you go away as a member of the One Piece. Yeah. That's quite an honour. I don't want to be in the one key plea club, but it is an honour because I'll be in summit for summit. It's not having nothing for nothing. I'll be in summit for summit. <laughs> that's the worst what can happen. I'll be in the club and I could win 25,000. So, top that, and I even asked me a question. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? I'm going to say no deal. <laughs> I've got to get rid of them anyway, like I said. That's staying. So all three are going to go. It doesn't really matter which order now, does it? No. Right, number 12. Yeah, number 12. I want you, Shirley, please. Number 12. Yeah, 12. Well, OK, uh, the order of this doesn't really matter, she says, but certainly the outcome. Is absolutely oh, yeah, vital. Oh, yeah, the outcome is vital. Um, surely. Anything but £20,000. Good luck, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. One, two. Wow. The only thing I will say, you know what I just said to you? Well, you're not going to be summit for summit. I'll be nothing for nothing. If I get 50p, I'll be nothing for nothing. I wanted that penny, really, if I was going to get 50p instead. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I know what I mean, but... <laughs> right. What? That's... Yeah, that. Right. Gemma, number 11, please. You really are a great character, Robin, and I miss you so much. Thank you. Fingers crossed, it's a 50p. I didn't want to put this pressure on you, buddy, but give me 50p. Number 13. Alex, this is it. In her game, this is the most important box so far. Ah. That's all right. Don't yeah. you worry about that, mate. Don't worry. Don't worry, everybody. That's good. That's great. <laughs> No, don't worry. That's... Well, do worry. Well, I'm sorry the slippers oh, haven't worked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but... <sighs> you don't want that 50p, do you? I think he's going to push me to go all the way. That's what he's going to do. Do you like the thought of that? Mm, how about that, then? Would you like him to make it easy for you? No, no. I want a truthful offer. Put a surprising amount of thought into that. Your last offer, do you remember what it was? Yeah, two and a half thousand. Two and a half. You're now at two. 
That's good. Two thousand pounds. <laughs> fair. That is fair. Fair. I'm. You asked for a fair yeah, offer. Yeah, I think that's brilliant, actually. I didn't expect them to go that far. In fact, mine. All I can say is, if I win fifty p. Yes. Would you think I was a loony? <laughs> well, after the way you've performed on this show. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Perish. That's true. Perish the thought. Right. I think. No, I think I am ready for the answer question. <laughs> Two thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Right, on this occasion, because... Because I think so, I'm gonna... I don't think I'm crazy, I don't think I am. I think I'm gonna... No deal. You're a lovely lady. He wishes you the very best of luck. And if you want it, you can have a swap. I didn't really want him to ask me that. That would have been so easy if he didn't ask me that. But I always said I wouldn't swap. That's the thing. And I think i got to keep it, Kay, because... Mum. Yeah, I'll keep I, it. i got to keep it, on I? And our dad's had enough luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, um... Man who's a pleurisy. No, on his side anyway. I mean, Legionnaire's disease oh, sorry. and a heart attack. Has had enough luck. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's had his luck. Would you like the question? If I got to. Um, yes, please, yes. Karen, swap or no swap? No swap. Thank you. Here we go. 50p or £10,000. And let's not lose sight of the fact £10,000 is still a very, very attractive sum of money. Is it yours now? <laughs> Really savour that. Fifty p is over there. Please confirm it, Phil. Box eight. <laughs> Had a good time. Uh, absolutely a brilliant time. But can I just speak a bit more? Just say to all these lot, every single one of you, everyone, if you're ever calling through my way, <laughs> no, and you. Watch where you park. <laughs> Karen, ten thousand pounds. <laughs> so we have some great characters. We have got the most wonderful personalities and characters here in the East and West Wing. She was fantastic. It was interesting. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll have another crack at tomorrow. Don't be fit. In your lifetime, you will lose many things. But one thing you don't want to lose is any more teeth. If you wear a partial denture, you are almost twice as likely to lose your supporting teeth. Help protect them with PolyGrip for partials. Seal and Protect Fixative could help minimize stress, which may damage supporting teeth by stabilizing your partial. And Clean and Protect Cleanser kills bacteria that can irritate gums.
Polygrip. Care for your partial, help protect your natural teeth. New from Schwarzkopf, exclusively developed with Claudia Schiffer. New Schwarzkopf SR Team. Four stunning collections for extra volume, dazzling shine, color protection, and truly precious hair. New Essential Team from Schwarzkopf. My professional hair care for you. <laughs> Welcome to Bullseye. She won't have to. She's a legal secretary. Other illegal ones. Let's see if our contestants can get it right. That the other. It's very good, that. Spell simultaneous. We always get them on here. Here, Mr. Wilkes, nay, nay, nay. We always get well-behaved audiences. You can't be a bit of bully. Start Saturday, 5th of July, from 8pm. Exclusive to Chat. I often use work to avoid my personal life. I think you're very attractive. Dr. Sweet. Yes, I think I pull a muscle. I think you look very pretty in your dress. Is it me or did it just get totally awkward in here? I called you and you never picked up your phone. You're amazing, you know that? Yes. We all know that bones should be here. Look no further. Bones, Wednesday at 9 on Sky Living HD. Or catch up on demand. So what do you want me to do? Just walk in and say hello? Exactly. <laughs> Remember me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hello, Hello, Paul. They will let anybody in. How the Invariably, devil are you? I'm all right. Come up in the world, you can afford a waistcoat. I can, yeah. <laughs> so, do you remember the wipeout? Yes, mostly because of Challenge TV. Uh huh. And <laughs> <laughs> I keep going. You know, I think I'm coming to the end because I keep seeing my past life flashing before me. Really? The, uh. the funniest game show I've ever done was Wipeout, but not the one you saw. Because it was him that was the centre of attention in this, it was the Paul Daniels show, really. Um, it had to be professional, it had to look good. And, uh, you know, he was a tough taskmaster. He, he does not suffer fools gladly. You know, and we work very, very hard to make both him and the show a success. Paul Daniels. <laughs> did Paul Daniels change his name? Oh, yes, he did. My real name is Newton Edward Daniel. What are we doing? We're doing a television show for a nation, um, and it was BBC. They paid the licence fees. They should get the best I could probably, possibly give them. So I used to meet all the contestants before the shows, uh, and run them through the shows. Took time, but it's worth doing. Then they're more relaxed in the studio. Some still stay a bit uptight, of course. And I would explain to them that it was OK to lose. I said, please don't worry if you don't get anything at all, because we live in England. And the British, we don't like winners <laughs> very much, you know. But I promise you, if you get no score at all, you, after this is transmitted, you'll go out to a supermarket and they'll say, oh, you were so brave. Oh, you, would, you wouldn't get me on there. Oh, I think you were marvellous. They'll be blissfully unaware that you've lost, you know, and that you are thinking you're thick. You're not thick, because the questions are such wide-ranging, nobody knows everything, except me. <laughs> Football. Football is correct. Our game, they call it soccer. Mm -hmm. To us, it's a disaster. It was very much driven by his character and the kind of person that he was. I'm glad you liked the jacket up, because we have another one for sale together. Oh, really? And yeah. This, this, this Do you know, that takes me back as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think the BBC's biggest mistake is not putting me in charge of it. That's quite possibly uh, true. Uh, which you was my assistant. <clears throat> Yeah, it was, it was also your plan, wasn't it? Oh, yes, uh, evil plan. Evil plan. Now I just say, when I'm king... <laughs> <laughs> I haven't called Charles yet. Yeah, well. This is such a good surprise. Oh, it's nice to see you.